my channel my name is Alexis if you already know and if you haven't read the title ready today we are going to be getting into Andrew Tate okay so before y'all blow up before y'all act insane I know in my last video Andrew Tate I, I was like mm -mm, I'm not feeling him I don't like him da, 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 da. and so with these reaction videos I'm watching them for the first time and plus I didn't know anything about Andrew Tate but like I said in the last video I'm gonna stand on what I said said but at the same time y'all was like oh give him a chance watch his other videos this this, and this and so that's what i'm gonna do in this video is i'm gonna give andrew tate another chance and what i actually did you guys is i went and looked up um his interview with Brittany renner and like the rest of that cast i don't know who that uh the main host of that video was but I went and looked up that video and I actually liked his take on, you know, how women don't value themselves, just this and that. Like, I really like his take on that. But anyways, before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and by the end of it, leave a comment if you want to, and let's go ahead and get into the video. I have a question for the girls. So imagine you're dating a guy, okay, and it's your birthday, and for your birthday, he gets you, let's say, a $500 gift, Okay. And you're, you're happy, right? It's very it's thoughtful. It's specific to you. Then you found out last year he got his ex-girlfriend an entire birthday party. How, how does that make you feel? He, I he, wouldn't care. He, he, went to, he did the most. He, he rented out the nicest hotel in London. He got her everything she wanted the year before. I mean, I care. You don't I care have at all? Birthday. Birthday. Yeah. They might have been together for five years. Happy. Okay, because you don't, you we're don't different. Care. We're different people too. Yeah. It's a different relationship, and maybe exactly. like, you know, he he bought her flowers every day, three hundred sixty five mm -hmm. days a year, mm -hmm. and he didn't do that for me. It's like, well, if that's what makes her happy, he's gonna do what makes her happy. Exactly. I mean, I get I get the angle. What you're saying is like, oh, he, she did, you know, he did all that for her. Why am I not good enough? But the mm -hmm. second you compare yourself, you lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, mean, and I I agree. Facts. But I, I'm just saying that's how men look at like your past is like basically like you've given it for free. So, okay, so here's my question to that because, all right, I love like everything we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to all the viewers out there, including myself, right? You live life, there's gray area. You live and you fucking learn, right? Mm -hmm. So where the fuck do we go from here? So do I play the shame game where everybody walks away a fucking loser? Because I can do that. I beat myself up my entire life for every decision I've ever made. Right? It got me nowhere. No. So I, I value myself. I see the world differently yeah. through a series of events. Right? So what the fuck comes next? Because that's where I'm confused. Right? Because I'm not... It's like, I... If you don't... If, if it's not, like, gifted to you... Like, even in your situation. Like, your dad provided you a life that, like, so many people would kill mm -hmm. for. Like, you know what I mean? So that's why it's like... It sucks because the reason I hate these conversations is because it's never about, like, empathy. Do I understand the, mm. the, the scales and how someone may view you for this, this, that, and the third? Okay, but moving forward, then what? So, okay, so I, I'm, a, I'm just going to, like I said, make it about myself. I'm 30, single, mom. I, my fucking checkered past is all over Instagram. You know what I mean? I, I have people like you. Or, she's a hoe. She's, a, she's literally known for this. Okay. So what would what would be your advice to people like me then? But I don't believe in gray area. I believe black and white. So okay, I'm well that's different. unfortunate because you know there's, there's yeah. gray. I don't know what, I'll gray tell you what. There's gray. I just, I just there's think, gray. I do you know what to we'll answer. Wait, I'm gonna answer your question. Answer I mean, I just think there's consequences for your decisions, and I just think like my best advice would be to like lower your standards, like that, because mm. because I just think there's gonna be consequences for putting you know promiscuous stuff on the internet. Okay, and, and uh, you probably won't get the type of guy that you could have got at 22. Do you know what? Sister, it I'll wasn't meant you. to be then. Do you know what I'll tell you? I would say, because I'm 30 and I'm single out of a situation that actually is not because I was a hoe and I was doing whatever, whatever. People can't call me that. I made my decision to be with somebody that hurt me a lot and I stayed for five years. I came out wow. super late. And do you know what I realized? What, my, what, what I learned is that I know now that I have to be selective and I have to think. Uh -huh. If me taking longer to get to that stage is what it takes, then that's what it takes. You accept your future, you accept everything with gratitude because as long as you're breathing, <sighs> that's the most important thing. That is, you've got your child. We be wasting time on these men, come on, five years? I, I know my value regardless of whether I'm 30, 40, 50. Yeah. Do you understand? So it, you don't be afraid by other people's time limits and limitations and all of but, these but things. Know that because it actually doesn't matter. And I'll tell you why. No, but your value goes down as you it, get no, older. No, that's according like, to you. Like, no, but I'm saying to No, it don't. Understand. I'll tell you why. Fire. I'll tell you why. Because since Mr. Andrew Tate explained something about status, I understand very well. 
what that actually means. And as a woman, the quality and the value that I hold for myself is actually the kind of value and quality that a man will appreciate the status it will bring to him, whether or not I'm a virgin. Because I've worked on myself to be a woman of quality and substance. I respect myself and I handle myself as such, okay? And that yeah. is the way that you're going to actually overcome all of these bad mistakes that you've made because who you are right now actually will make a difference if you stick to it and if you mean it and if you've always been that way. There's always another another story for everybody. It doesn't matter. You'll be fine. You know, I would just say somebody that's more emotionally mature. Do you know what I would just say to you? What, is, what are you about to say, Andrew? Because you just started speaking. I was going to say... Um, Andrew, she said, said Andrew. Oh, I want to hear... I really... Because... Because you've been through a lot in your life. I like when I, when she told me that you were going to be on and we were going to be on this panel together. I started watching a bunch of your videos, and it really was like there's so much that you have been through, which is why you have a well of wisdom, right? And the difference between me and you is that you're glorified for it, and I am burned at the stake for everything that I've been through. And I, I, it's so funny because people have always said that we were two sides of the same coin as far as like, well, if Andrew Tate gets banned, Brittany Renner should get banned because there's we are all about accountability and fucking truth, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've been through a lot, I've been through a lot, I'm seen as used goods, you're seen as a high value man. Yeah. So I like I mean, this. Then, then what? What's yeah, next? Yeah, it's really interesting. And it's, it's okay, hold up. Make the observation and you are correct. That's the So as they talk about used goods and high value man, I think that it's just like the image. Like, okay, so she's putting herself out there. You know, she shakes her tail and stuff like that. I love me some Brittany Renner, by the way. Like, she was one of the first people on Instagram that I followed, like, way, way back in the day. And so, when you dance and stuff like that on social media, like, that's okay if that's who you are. Um, but at the same time, I truly don't think that we see, unless, like, my algorithm and my explore page is, like, off... We don't see men out here, you know, slanging a dangling and stuff like that unless they're like that type of content creator where they're like posting thirst traps and stuff like that. But even then, it's just like they don't be doing too much. Like unless you're a, a, a porn star and just different things like that, they still don't be doing as much as I feel like women out here are doing. And in that same breath, I've also experienced a man to where it's just like where he'll be like, oh, what's your body count? And I'll be like, tell me yours first. I want to hear yours. And he'll, he can be like 92. And I'm like, okay, go. You're disgusting. Like, mm -mm. like, and if you got a body count of 92, look, peace and love and blessings to you, but you're not the one for me. And so it's just like, bro, like women think that's disgusting too, but y'all think it's a flex. Like that is not nice and cute and good to be just running through women like i feel like in my head baby we the same if i got 92 bodies and you got 92 bodies whether you're a male or a female that's nasty either way either way 40 something 50 something either way you're doing you're out here and you're doing too much you're doing too much and you need to put that put that d in, in a in a container lock it up for a while put that cooch in a container lock it up for a while for a while because you're doing entirely too much and that's just my opinion on it he is not a high value man i don't care how much money he brings in and i don't know his body count or anything like that but in my eyes he is not a high value man i don't care if you're freaking a billionaire if you got 92 bodies i'm just saying 92 like because it just came to my head but if you got mad bodies uh bro like please no you're not a high value man anymore and if if that word gets out that's the thing women be talking about their body count and stuff like that but men don't really be doing it they be like oh i think it's around 40 or i don't know like they just be doing stuff like that but women like sometimes know the exact number oh it's you know exactly 43 and i've been having sex for two years you know whatever because maybe that's too much baby and so that's like i i wouldn't see him like i'm gonna let him speak and stuff like that but i truly wouldn't see him as a high value man if he he got that many bodies like i don't care how much money you got and you got private jets and stuff like that if she got private jets anyways but we're gonna get back into it difference between the masculine and the feminine use goods you're seen as a high value man yeah. so if you're me then then what What's next? Yeah, it's really interesting. And it's, it's interesting you make the observation, and you are correct. That's the difference between the masculine and the feminine. It's kind of it's unfair, I guess. The world's not fair. But that's the difference between the masculine and the feminine. Men are respected for going through things and surviving, and women Shame. are the complete opposite. They're ashamed for going through things and surviving. Mm -hmm. If you look at women love scars on men for a reason. He's gone through something. He they're did. war wounds. Yeah, they're war wounds. <laughs> men don't want a chick covered in scars. I'll say this right now, that a, a, a woman, the more trauma she goes through, 
the more masculine she naturally becomes. And if you were to give me my ideal woman, I would not want of, of want her to have a hard life and a bunch of trauma. I like yeah. the idea of her having a soft feminine life and being a soft person. Mm -hmm. And I can take care of her and protect her. Whereas as a man, to be a good man, you need to have been through a bunch of trauma. Because mm -hmm. if you haven't been through trauma as a man, you're a weakling. Okay, you have hold to up. Been through a bunch of shit. So the mask and the... Okay, so it depends because if you've been through a bunch of things as a man, like sometimes, you know, you got like, especially like black men and stuff like that. Um, Actually, I'm not even going to say especially black men because it can be any man putting his hands on a woman. If you go through some crazy stuff or if, if you've seen your mom on drugs and this and that happen and stuff like that or you grew up poor, some men do not respond correctly to that and plus we got them in a bubble to where they can't express their emotions so it's like times 10 some men are, men are just horrible people and women like you know we do it by like you know the lashing out the jealousy the oh she like it's just like a weird little tweak in a female's head that's like she kind of off a little bit and stuff like that or she just like got the crazy trust issues or you know y'all y'all see the blue blue face and Krishan situation and stuff like that how she just like you like her, but you kind of like, she got a little something off to her. Like, you know, she got a good character and a good personality, but at the same time, it's just like, mm, she acting funny. So I feel like, like men and women, like we carry our emotions differently. And shoot, me personally, I ain't sticking with no man that then been through some crazy stuff to where it's just like, if he went to war and seen some people killed, now he beat me. Mm -mm, I'm gonna have to step away. I'm gonna have to step away, you know? Or, you know, just different crazy situations like that. But, you know, I'm going to let him speak. We're going to get back into it, and then we're going to talk about it. And it's a very interesting point there. As for, I don't know, I don't know your history, I don't know the past, but we can just talk in general, generalizations in regards People to... People like me, I guess, okay. under the same umbrella. It doesn't okay. have to be personal. I, yeah, I, I don't know yeah. any of it, but we'll give generalizations. One of the main reasons that men are scared of a female with history is, is because it makes the man insecure. Okay. And, and scared dogs bite. So this is why men will snap or get angry quick or they'll bring up your history. If, if you get an argument with him, he'll bring up your history, da, da, whatever. But a lot of it is insecurity. And it's not insecurity because the man is insecure. The woman, the women, the female paradigm in society convinces men, any man who says anything, you're insecure. Da, da. It's not insecure in that way. It's insecure in a very realistic, logical way. Like I was saying earlier, she's had a lot of life experience. Let's be honest. Am I the richest guy she's ever had? No. Am I the most famous guy she's ever had? No. By the best looking guy she's ever had no like what's keeping her here mm -hmm. and then part of it comes down to well am i second place could if she could do better would she do better okay. like there's a whole bunch of insecurity involved and that's where tiny things like i'm talking i know it sounds like dumb shit tiny things about a favorite car brand become more important than ever right it's, it's your job as a woman regardless of how much se sexual history you've had or what guy you're with okay, it's your up. job as a woman to make your man feel secure in the fact and make Okay, so let me stop it right there. So I've had a situation to where um, when I very first started dating where I was a virgin and I was with somebody and he would like, well, we were together for three years and he would do the weirdest thing. Like I would have like all my old high school um, basketball, like all, just all my old homeboys and stuff like that. Mind you, I've never smashed before. I would have all of them like on my Snapchat and stuff like that. You know, we send in, you know, the most simple things. I'm not like back then and stuff like that. I was focused on my schooling, my books and, and just like, you know, sports and stuff like that. So I wasn't really worried about flirting. So all the messages in my phone wasn't even on that type of time. But the dude that I was with, it was just like, okay, she's a virgin. So I got to clinch down on her. So I definitely get where he's coming from as far as. Oh, like, you know, I ain't got the best car. I ain't got the best this, the best that. Because, like, they, they gonna blow that. They gonna throw it in your face. Especially if you got mad bodies or whatever. They definitely gonna throw it in your face and just be like, okay, like, well, now I'm insecure. And I truly, he says it's not uh, from a valid point of insecurity. But I truly think that it, it's not valid to act that way. Like, because, you know, if we start talking about your bodies as a man, man, you own 52, you done... You just smash anything from the sloppiest of bodies to the baddest of chicks, especially if you're a decent looking man with money and stuff like that. You done, you done smashed everything and in between. So if we start talking about your history, like let's really get into the tea and talk about like you and your business. And, uh, you know, I, and I can't walk around insecure because now you're just like, babe, you ain't got to be insecure. Da, 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 knowing that y'all be cheating and, you know, the whole nine. So anyways. 21 year old virgin from some village in Slovakia and I'm 
multi-millionaire Andrew Tate. Of course, it's a very easy... She's never had better. She'll never get better. She's never been anywhere. Boom, boom, easy one, right? But like you said, the world's not so 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 idealistic. The reality is that people have had relationships, etc., etc. But a man is happiest in the relationship when he feels like man in the house and when he truly feels like you believe he's the best man that you could possibly ever get and have ever gotten. Because a man is jealous. I'll tell you something. I Which you should girl, make like him joke. feel like that. And I so say, either way. I say, no, but I say it's a joke. So you cheated on me before I met you. <laughs> and she'd be like, what do you mean? I didn't even know you. It's like, yeah, you fucked that guy before I even knew you. You cheated on me. And they used to laugh, whatever. But that's how men think. That's the male mind. Like, I love you. And you've been fucked by who? But I didn't know you. I don't care if you knew me. You should have waited. What do you mean? <laughs> but that's the male mind. So he is in competition with all of your exes and all of your lifestyle and all the things you've done permanently. And it's down to you as a woman to sit there and go, how do I make him secure in himself and secure in his masculinity and make him believe that investing in me is still worthwhile because I still truly value him. Yeah. Despite the fact that I could do X, Y, Z. I hope that gives some clarity, but that's, yeah. that's the answer. So you know, you know what I would have said? I would have said, oh, for anybody in that situation, come off social media and just raise your child. So the, ne the person who meets you has got nothing to... But I never knew you. I never knew who you were because I don't, I've never heard of you before. So when I spoke to you, by the way people, by the way you're saying like what's on, what's on the internet, so let me just say, you're a nicer person than what you sound like, like what you perceive to be. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, oh, that pearl has got all their shoes, a whore, she's a whore, and I've heard, I've heard the name, but I don't know anything about you. And I was saying that if you didn't have nothing on social media about your checkered past, and you met somebody the Back. same way how I Hello. met you and I conversed and I got to know you. Uh -huh. It's the same way that they would. Yeah, and, and, and it is interesting. And it's also back to the masculine and feminine, right? Because I'm all over the internet. And supposedly I'm misogynist and I'm evil and all this crap, right? But if I meet a, if a girl, even if she disagrees with me, in fact, I'll say this. I've never, ever met a single female who's ever come up to me and disagreed with me. Every woman comes up to me and loves what I says. But let's imagine I met this imaginary girl. She was sitting there. And if I were to have a 10-minute conversation with her, by the time I explain the level to which they tried to destroy me, how they tried to freeze all my bank accounts, raise illegal charges against me, put me in jail for things I didn't do, put a travel ban, take my passport, all this garbage, by the time I explain how hard they tried to hurt me and failed, she'll want me. Because she'll be like, you can't kill this guy. <laughs> and that's going be it. You're like, you say a bunch of shit I don't like, but you know what? You're, you're the man. So but that's... Okay, hold it, up. It is about experience, and it is different. But that's because, like, us as humans, we're going to tell you, like, even if he did do all that stuff that he did, like, which I didn't do my research on it yet. But, like, even if he did do all that stuff, you could be, like, a freaking child predator and explain to me, like, a new person meeting you. Oh, well, they they thought that just because we slept in the same bed that this is this. Like, and you can just manipulate your way out of it. Like, anybody can do that. So, that's not really valid, but I understand what he's saying. Like, I truly understand where he's coming from. Uh, but anybody can like just have a conversation with somebody and just be, you know, vibrant and, you know, tell the truth or whatever to make themselves look good. And I think that's what we do as humans until I learn the real you and I see the things that I don't like, you know, the, the different topics that we're going to discuss, especially if we're going to be together. Um, I, I'm going to see those things. And so it's just like, I'm going to see it eventually. Like, yeah, you can lie to me in this first 10 minutes, but I'm going to see that eventually, you know? And so... I definitely get where he's coming from from that, and we're going to keep going. And, and that's a really good point about social media. Social media amplifies all of this shit. It okay. amplifies all these problems. Everything we're discussing, everything we've discussed back to the beginning, from status to promiscuity to your past, past it's all social media. Without social media, a lot of it goes away. Yeah. And, I and that's why me and my yeah. man last so long is that we, he doesn't do social media and, and, and I, there's nothing on there about me. I feel like to answer your question too, because I have had people say that as a solution. And it's like, you can run, but you cannot hide from the truth. Mm -hmm. And I have shared uh, why my voice has been so impactful and will continue to be impactful is because I have put myself out there and I have been punished for being honest. So it's like, I have been giving a platform, given a platform and a voice for a reason. Mm -hmm. Even sitting down in this conversation thinking there's not one person I'm probably going to agree with and probably going to want to leave. Uh -huh. um, I have been called here for a reason. So it's like I can't go against what is in my heart and what I am coded to be. And that's why I feel like it's important for me to sit here and represent people who feel like me. Because it's like I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't, I don't even want to say that. Um, I just feel like I don't see a lot of women under my umbrella who feel the way that I feel.
feel. I don't see opinions shared that I that would be worded the way that I feel. Nothing. I feel like a lot of my thoughts are very unique, and it's it's kind of scary because I have been through different things. I, I see the world in a different place, and when I even speak online, people think I'm fucking speaking Swahili. Yeah. So it's like, I, and I know, I, no, and I know exactly what you're saying, and, and you're making good points. And it's just, I think that regardless of whether. Like, we're talking about different positions. I compare everything to chess. I know it's annoying. We're looking at different positions on the chessboard, but the rules are still the same, right? Okay. No matter how bad your position is or how good your position is, you're still trying to achieve the same objectives. And and you want you want the man to get high status, and you want the man to feel secure in himself. And I think it's, it's very difficult. I can only talk from the male perspective because I am a man. It is very difficult. If I were to meet a woman who I liked very much, but she had X whatever, past whatever, whatever. My concerns would be, how do I know that I'm still the number one? How do I know I'm most important in her life, especially if I don't measure up in certain key metrics? And two, the second thing that's most scary for men is we understand that men are constantly after what we have. Like, your inboxes are all full. Like, it, they may not be with guys you want to reply to, but guys are still trying to get it. That's the male life. The male life is people are trying to take everything from me. And, and that's very scary, and you have to make your man really believe like that's impossible. If a man truly believes that nobody can take you from him, he's going to love you in a different way. It, 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 you, can give me, you can give me two carbon copies of the same chick, but one I think might cheat in the right circumstances, and one I know no matter what would never leave me. The love I'll feel for this one is you a gonna cheat on her though. the love I feel for this one, even though they're the same person, right? Because that's every man's biggest fear, is a woman cheating or leaving. Because there's something, feel that way too. something different about it. I know I talk things and I say men can do things and women can't and all this stuff. But like, if a woman cheats on a man, that hurts the man at a level that it doesn't hurt the woman if the man cheats on her. It's different. It's, it's different biologically. It's different, it's different evolutionarily. Like, that's what men used to fight and die over. You talk to my chick. You look at my chick. Yeah, it's like you demasculinize him on every level. Like, and this is why you see these TikToks, right? You see these TikToks. Me and my man went on a break, got back together. He fucked 20 girls, and now he's crying because I went on a date. Yes! (laughs) Completely yes! The, 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 The damage level is different. It's just a different thing. So you have to understand the paradigms. You have to understand to play the game. And that's how you make men happy. And I know very well how... I like to believe that I know I would know very well how to make a woman happy. And and I know and whether I do that or not is a conscious decision. And that's where you get to a certain level of grand mastery where I if I get a woman, I will literally decide out of ten how happy do I want her. Do I want does she deserve to be happy ten? Or should I keep her like crying half the time? That it's very conscious. That's crazy. And women don't think that way. But I'm saying if you're a smart if you're a cutting woman, you can be like that. You can be a bit more like, you know what? I want him infatuated with me. This guy ain't worth the time. That guy I want. And then when you're going to do that, just like the game of chess, if you play chess, it's not big moves that make you lose. It's small positional plays. It's that time you argued about your favorite car. It's the time you disagreed with him about the favorite band. It's the dumb shit that adds up. Whereas really, truthfully, if you're truly smart about the game, you can get him to a point after a few months where he's like, She's my soulmate. I sh- I sh- she loves everything I love. We think the same. Our hearts are connected. That's oh, what guys do. Safe. Just don't fuck it up from there. But, That's the game. but I just feel like it's so contradicting to feel. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it right there because I literally love what they're talking about. I like Andrew Tate's uh, take on it. I like Brittany Renner's uh, two cents on it. I really love this conversation. And I think that there's a lot to be said about it. Um, for one, let's hit on the fact that he's saying um, that he feels like a woman can make a man fall in love with him like basically quick to pretending like oh my gosh like you're everything that i ever wanted i truly think that's true and i truly think that women be doing that like y'all may not know that women do that but they be doing it especially if you really like somebody or you think he's high end or whatever the case may be you gonna fake interested and, and you know you see a million and one movies where it's just like a girl will be like oh yeah i love football or i love soccer or whatever the case may be and she goes to a game and she don't even know what's going on, you know? And so it happens for sure. So I definitely like his take on that. And then Brittany Renner's side is just like, she, I feel like she definitely wants to do like some soul searching and stuff like that and just find her person. Like I truly feel like she wants love. And you know, it sucks that her business is all out like in the open and stuff like that. But some women want that, especially in today's world where everybody's like stuck on social media. That video, like, is easy to find of you shaking your tail. That video is easy to find of you sucking that person's D and it went crazy, like, on social media. 
And so you just have to be cautious about what you post. But at the same time, like I was saying, I feel like she's definitely going to find her person. And I feel like Andrew Tate, like, I don't know. I feel like, you know, when he wants her and stuff like that, he's going to find his girl. If he doesn't, like, if he wants to, you know, eventually lay down the player card and stuff like that. But I feel like he can have 15 girls, um, you know, serving him, especially in this time. I feel like he can have 15 girls at his house ready to be his wife standing around each other making it work just for that money like and, and that's just the world we live in and the the roles are you know getting reversed too because women are uh, becoming so high end that they want a couple of husbands too and so you got both of the male and females like playing both ends i feel like that's super insecure like i know it's kind of double-sided but i feel like in a situation like that that's super insecure of a man well okay actually both but that's really crazy of a man to do. I've been seeing it out here where it's um, polygamy and a girl has like three three husbands. And I just feel like that's crazy and very downgrading for a man. And even, shoot, on the other side, I feel like you're settling. And I've seen in, in the city like next to mine or whatever, I've seen this girl like she had a baby daddy. She She got pregnant by him and then all of a sudden she turned into a it turned into a polygamy relationship and i feel like f females are definitely in this day and age settling for that because their man keeps cheating and it's just like oh well he's a boss and i don't want to let him go and i want to continue to make him happy so let me keep you know um keep him in the loop by making him happy and he just wants both of us no ma'am we're not doing that but this video is already long so we're gonna i might turn it into a two-part series like because i really like the topic and i want to listen to the rest of it with you guys and give you all my input so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this will be part one of the andrew tate Brittany renner conversation be sure to subscribe to my channel for more definitely feel free to drop more andrew tate videos that y'all think shows him in a good light since y'all try to eat me up in the last video that i made of him drop some videos of him be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment box if you want to and i will see you guys in the next video